Welcome to Explain a Sandu History Channel. In today's video, we delve into the life of the rise and fall of ancient Rome's military power. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Your feedback is invaluable in improving future documentaries. I Introduction Ancient Rome's journey through history is a remarkable tale of rise, dominance, an eventual decline that has captivated scholars, strategists, and the general public alike. From a small settlement on the banks of the Tiber River, Rome evolved into a republic, and ultimately an empire that at its zenith stretched from the misty highlands of Scotland to the sands of the Arabian Desert, and from the Iberian Peninsula to the shores of the Black Sea. This expansive reach not only showcased Rome's military might but also facilitated a cultural and economic exchange that would lay the foundations for the modern Western world. The scope of this exploration spans over a millennium, beginning with Rome's mythical founding in 753 BCE and concluding with the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476 CE. This period encompasses the transformation of Rome from a small community of herders and farmers into a colossal empire whose military, political, and architectural innovations still influence contemporary society. Central to Rome's ability to achieve and maintain its vast empire was its military power. The evolution of this military might is a story of constant adaptation and innovation. Rome's military strategies, tactics, and organization underwent significant changes influenced by internal reforms, technological advancements, and the challenges of diverse and changing enemies. Furthermore, Rome's political landscape, characterized by a complex interplay of ambition, rivalry, and governance, played a crucial role in shaping its military policies and strategies. External pressures, including threats from neighboring states and nomadic tribes, economic competition, and the logistics of maintaining security and control over distant territories, continually tested Rome's military resilience. The thesis of this exploration posits that the rise and fall of Rome's military power were not merely outcomes of its battles and campaigns, but were deeply influenced by strategic innovations, political decisions, and external pressures. Understanding these elements provides insight into not only Rome's military history, but also the broader dynamics of empire building and decline. This narrative offers valuable lessons on the complexities of sustaining a global power, and the inevitable challenges that accompany such an endeavor. 2. The Formation and Early Expansion of Rome's Military the origins of Rome's military prowess can be traced back to the era of the Roman Kingdom, a period steeped in myth and history, where the foundations of Roman society and its martial spirit were laid. During these early days, Rome was but one of many small city-states on the Italian peninsula, locked in a struggle for survival and dominance. The military, primarily composed of citizen militias, was a reflection of Rome's agrarian society, with soldiers temporarily leaving their farms to defend their community or to wage war during the campaigning seasons. As Rome transitioned from monarchy to the more structured political system of the Republic around 509 BCE, its military underwent significant transformations as well. The socio-political changes brought about by the establishment of the Republic necessitated a more organized and efficient military force. This period saw the gradual evolution of the Roman military from a loosely organized militia based on the Greek phalanx to the more flexible and tactical legion system. The legion, divided into maniples, allowed for greater maneuverability and adaptability on the battlefield, a key factor in Rome's military successes. The early Roman military structure was deeply intertwined with the socio-political fabric of the Republic. Military service was both a duty and a privilege of Roman citizenship, with the wealthier classes providing the cavalry, equites, and the bulk of the infantry coming from the common citizens, plebs. 
This citizen-soldier model was crucial for Rome's expansion, ensuring a steady supply of motivated troops loyal to the Republic. Among the most significant reforms that shaped the early Roman military were those attributed to the Roman kings and, later, the Camillan reforms. The early kings, such as Romulus and Servius Tullius, are credited with establishing the initial military and tribal divisions within Rome, laying the groundwork for the later, more sophisticated organization. However, it was the reforms attributed to Marcus Furius Camillus in the 4th century BCE that truly transformed the Roman military. The Camillan reforms reorganized the army based on wealth and ability rather than tribal affiliation, introduced new tactical units like the maniples, and standardized equipment, significantly enhancing Rome's military flexibility and effectiveness. These reforms not only allowed for a more efficient mobilization of Rome's growing population, but also ensured that the military could adapt to the challenges presented by Rome's expanding territorial ambitions. The shift towards a more organized legion system, coupled with Rome's strategic and tactical innovations, set the stage for its dominance over the Italian peninsula and laid the foundations for the future expansion of the Republic. This period of early military formation and expansion was critical in Rome's evolution from a regional power into a formidable empire, demonstrating the intrinsic link between military innovation, political strategy, and the ambitions of an expanding state. 3. The Height of Rome's Military Dominance The apogee of Rome's military dominance was a period marked by unprecedented territorial expansion, groundbreaking military innovations, and the establishment of a level of peace and stability across the known world that was virtually unparalleled in ancient history. This era, stretching from the late Republic through the early Empire, showcased the zenith of Roman power and the effectiveness of its military machine. Expansion during the Republic the Republic's era was characterized by aggressive expansion and significant military conquests. Rome's dominance over the Italian peninsula was secured through a series of campaigns against neighboring tribes and city-states, employing a combination of military might, strategic alliances, and the assimilation of defeated peoples into the Roman state. This not only expanded Rome's territory but also increased its manpower and resources, laying the groundwork for further expansion. The Punic Wars against Carthage were pivotal in establishing Rome as a Mediterranean superpower. The First Punic War, 264-241 BCE, saw Rome's navy built from scratch and eventually dominate Carthage, securing Sicily. The Second Punic War, 218-201 BCE, marked by Hannibal's audacious crossing of the Alps and the battles of Cannae and Zama, ended with Rome's decisive victory and the imposition of crippling terms on Carthage. The Third Punic War, 149-146 BCE, resulted in the complete destruction of Carthage and the annexation of its territories. These victories gave Rome control over the western Mediterranean, Following the Punic Wars, Rome turned its attention eastward, engaging in a series of conflicts that led to the annexation of the Hellenistic kingdoms. The Macedonian Wars and conflicts with the Seleucid Empire brought Greece, Asia Minor, and parts of the Middle East under Roman control, spreading its influence deep into the Hellenistic world. Military Innovations and Discipline Rome's military success was not just the result of sheer numbers, but also innovations in tactics, discipline, and logistics. The Roman legion, with its flexibility and the ability to fight in different formations, was superior to the phalanx and other formations used by its enemies. The rigorous training and discipline instilled in Roman soldiers, combined with a highly effective command structure, allowed for complex maneuvers and strategies to be executed with precision. Logistics also played a crucial role in Rome's military campaigns. The construction of roads and forts facilitated the rapid movement and supply of troops across vast distances, 
enhancing Rome's ability to project power and maintain control over its territories. Transition to Empire The late Republic saw the rise of military leaders who used their successes to gain political power, culminating in the actions of Julius Caesar. His conquest of Gaul extended Rome's borders to the English Channel and the Rhine, bringing vast wealth and resources into the Republic. Following Caesar's assassination, his adopted heir Octavian, later Augustus, emerged victorious in the ensuing power struggles, marking the end of the Republic and the birth of the Roman Empire in 27 BCE. Peak Military Power Under the Empire Under Augustus and his successors, the Roman Empire reached its territorial zenith, stretching from the Atlantic coast of Europe to the deserts of Arabia and from the northern forests of Britain to the sands of North Africa. The establishment of the Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and stability across the empire, was a testament to Rome's military and administrative prowess. The strategic deployment of legions along the borders, the construction of an extensive network of roads and forts, and the use of local auxiliaries to bolster the Roman legions were key to maintaining Rome's territorial integrity and protecting its interests. The military infrastructure not only facilitated the rapid mobilization and supply of Roman forces, but also contributed to the economic integration and cultural assimilation of the empire's diverse regions. This period of military dominance was the culmination of centuries of innovation, adaptation, and conquest. It reflected Rome's ability to integrate the military, political, and economic dimensions of power, securing its legacy as one of history's greatest empires. For factors contributing to military strength. The unparalleled military strength of ancient Rome was not a product of happenstance, but the result of a multitude of factors working in concert. These included the professionalization of the army, substantial economic resources, cultural valorization of military service, and significant innovations in military technology and engineering. Each of these elements played a pivotal role in shaping the Roman military into an efficient, disciplined, and technologically advanced force that dominated the ancient world. The professionalization of the Roman army and the role of the legion the transition from a conscripted militia to a professional standing army was a crucial development in Roman military history. This professionalization process began in earnest during the late Republic and was solidified by the reforms of Augustus, the first emperor. Soldiers enlisted for 20 to 25 years, receiving regular pay, training, and, upon retirement, a pension or land. This professional approach to military service ensured a constant readiness for war, a high level of training, and loyalty to the Roman state rather than to individual commanders or political factions. The legion, the backbone of the Roman army, was a highly flexible unit capable of executing complex maneuvers in varied terrains. Comprising approximately 5,000 heavily armed infantrymen, the legion was divided into smaller units, cohorts, centuries, and maniples, allowing for tactical flexibility. The legionaries were supported by auxiliary forces, which provided cavalry and specialist troops such as archers. The legions were not just military units, but also engineering corps, capable of building camps, fortifications, roads, and bridges, furthering Rome's military and civil objectives economic resources, and the support of the Roman state for military campaigns. Rome's economic might underpinned its military strength. The wealth flowing into Rome from its vast empire, including tributes, taxes, and spoils of war, funded the professional army, military innovations, and infrastructure projects. The state's ability to mobilize and allocate resources for military campaigns allowed for sustained periods of expansion and defense against external threats. The economic integration of conquered territories and the development of trade networks also bolstered Rome's economic status, 
creating a feedback loop that supported further military campaigns. Cultural aspects, the valorization of military service, discipline, and loyalty to Rome. Roman culture held military service in high regard, considering it both a duty and a path to social advancement and honor. This cultural valorization fostered a strong sense of discipline, loyalty, and commitment among Roman soldiers, qualities that were instrumental in their military successes. Military triumphs were celebrated with great pomp in Rome, and successful commanders were accorded high honors, reinforcing the prestige associated with military achievements. This societal backdrop encouraged Roman citizens to view military service as a noble endeavor, ensuring a steady supply of recruits motivated by duty, honor, and the promise of reward. Innovations in military technology and engineering The Roman military's effectiveness was significantly enhanced by its use of advanced technology and engineering. Innovations in weaponry, such as the pilum, a heavy javelin that could render enemy shields useless, and improvements in armor and siege engines, gave Roman soldiers a technological edge on the battlefield. Engineering prowess was equally important, the construction of roads, bridges, and fortified camps not only facilitated rapid troop movements and supply lines, but also enabled Rome to exert control over its vast territories. These technological and engineering advancements, combined with the Roman military's strategic and tactical acumen, made it a formidable force that could adapt to and overcome a wide range of challenges. Together, these factors created a military machine that was more than the sum of its parts, propelling Rome to unparalleled heights of power and influence in the ancient world. V. The Decline of Rome's Military Power the decline of Rome's military power, a multifaceted process spanning several centuries, was influenced by a complex interplay of internal and external factors. This period was marked by political instability, economic crises, military overextension, and increasing reliance on mercenaries, all of which contributed to the gradual erosion of Rome's military dominance. Internal challenges, political instability, economic crises, and the difficulty of managing a vast empire. Rome's internal landscape during its decline was characterized by political turmoil and economic difficulties. The assassination of Emperor Commodus in 192 CE marked the beginning of a prolonged period of instability, with a succession of short-lived emperors and usurpers. This political instability undermined the central authority, leading to weakened military cohesion and strategic focus. Economic crises, exacerbated by over-reliance on slave labor, decreasing agricultural yields, and rampant inflation, further strained the empire's resources. The vastness of the empire, encompassing diverse cultures and distant territories, posed significant administrative and logistical challenges, complicating the effective mobilization and supply of military forces. Military overextension and the logistical challenges of defending extensive borders. Rome's territorial expansion, while a source of its power, also became a liability. The empire's extensive borders required a massive military presence to defend against constant threats from outside forces. This overextension strained Rome's logistical and financial capabilities, as maintaining and supplying such a widespread military presence became increasingly unsustainable. The situation was compounded by internal divisions and the empire's gradual loss of control over its outer territories, leaving it vulnerable to external invasions. The crisis of the third century, civil wars, barbarian invasions, and the splitting of the empire. The third century witnessed a profound crisis that nearly brought the empire to collapse. A combination of civil wars, barbarian invasions, and economic decline led to a period of chaos and fragmentation. The empire was split into three competing states, the Gallic Empire, the Palmyrene Empire, and the Central Roman Empire.
further diluting Rome's military strength. Although the empire was eventually reunified under Emperor Aurelian, the damage to its military and administrative structures had lasting effects. Reforms and temporary recoveries, Diocletian and Constantine's attempts at stabilizing the empire. In an effort to address these challenges, Emperors Diocletian and Constantine implemented a series of reforms aimed at stabilizing and revitalizing the empire. Diocletian's Tetrarchy system sought to improve administrative efficiency by dividing the empire into more manageable units. Both emperors undertook military reforms to bolster the army's strength and adapt to the changing nature of warfare, including the recruitment of larger numbers of cavalry units. Constantine's foundation of Constantinople as a new eastern capital was part of a strategic reorientation towards the empire's wealthier and more defensible eastern provinces. The role of mercenaries and the declining loyalty and effectiveness of the Roman military. As the empire's internal crises deepened, there was an increasing reliance on mercenaries to bolster the ranks of the Roman military. These foreign soldiers, while providing much-needed manpower, often lacked the loyalty and discipline of traditional Roman legions. The growing use of mercenaries, combined with the erosion of the traditional Roman military values and the recruitment of non-Roman citizens into the army, led to a decline in cohesion, effectiveness, and loyalty to the Roman state. The decline of Rome's military power was not the result of a single cause, but a convergence of internal and external pressures that gradually undermined the foundations of Roman military supremacy. While temporary recoveries and reforms provided brief resurgences in strength, the cumulative effect of these challenges ultimately led to the Western Roman Empire's fall in the 5th century, marking the end of an era in military history. 6. The Fall of Rome and its Military The fall of the Western Roman Empire is a defining moment in history, marking the end of ancient Rome's dominance and the beginning of the Middle Ages in Europe. This decline was not precipitated by a single event but was the result of a prolonged period of deterioration, characterized by both internal decay and external pressures. The collapse of Rome's military prowess played a central role in this process, as it was unable to withstand the compounded challenges it faced. The collapse of the Western Roman Empire, key battles, the sack of Rome, and the loss of territories. The decline of the Western Roman Empire culminated in a series of military defeats and the loss of territories. Key battles, such as the Battle of Adrianople in 378 CE, where the Goths decisively defeated the Roman army, highlighted the declining effectiveness of the Roman military. The sack of Rome by the Visigoths in 410 CE was a symbolic blow to the empire's prestige and power demonstrating the vulnerability of Rome itself. Further sacks by the Vandals in 455 CE and the eventual deposition of the last Roman emperor, Romulus Augustulus, in 476 CE by the Germanic chieftain Odoacer, marked the end of the Western Roman Empire. These events were not isolated incidents but part of a broader pattern of territorial losses, as various Germanic tribes established their kingdoms on what was once Roman soil. The Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire, and its military legacy. While the Western Roman Empire crumbled, the Eastern Roman Empire, known historically as the Byzantine Empire, continued to thrive for another millennium. The Byzantine Empire inherited Rome's military traditions, adapting and evolving them to meet new challenges. Innovations such as the theme system, which integrated military and administrative functions into regional units, and the use of Greek fire, a formidable incendiary weapon, underscored the Byzantine military's adaptability. The preservation and adaptation of Roman military strategies, alongside diplomatic acumen, allowed the Byzantine Empire to survive and occasionally flourish, despite facing continuous threats from both the East and West. External pressures, the rise of new powers, and the migration of peoples. 
the fall of the Western Roman Empire was hastened by external pressures, including the rise of new powers and the migration of peoples. The migration period, often referred to as the Volkerwanderung, saw various Germanic tribes, such as the Visigoths, Vandals, and Ostrogoths, move into Roman territories. These movements were spurred by the expansion of the Huns into Europe, pushing other peoples westward. Simultaneously, the Persian Sasanian Empire and later the rise of Islam in the 7th century presented significant challenges to Roman dominance, engaging the empire in costly and protracted conflicts. Analysis of the fall, the combination of internal weaknesses and external threats. The fall of the Western Roman Empire was the result of a lethal combination of internal weaknesses and external threats. Internally, political instability, economic decline, military overextension, and a loss of civic virtue eroded the empire's foundations. Externally, the empire faced unprecedented pressures from migrating peoples and the emergence of new, formidable enemies. These factors, combined with the inability of the Roman military to adapt effectively to these new challenges, led to the gradual disintegration of Roman control over its vast territories. The fall of Rome's military and the Western Roman Empire itself were not abrupt events, but the culmination of centuries of decline. The legacy of Rome, however, lived on through the Byzantine Empire and the diffusion of Roman culture, law, and military innovations throughout Europe, laying the groundwork for the modern world. 7. Conclusion the story of the Roman military encompasses a saga of rise, dominance, and decline that has profoundly influenced the course of history. From its early days as a fledgling city-state army to its zenith as the preeminent military force of the ancient world, Rome's military might was central to the empire's expansion and maintenance of power. The Roman military engineered a vast empire, integrating diverse peoples and cultures under a single political and economic system. Its achievements in warfare, coupled with the strategic, logistic, and technological innovations it developed, set standards in military science that resonate to this day. The decline of Rome's military power, however, serves as a cautionary tale of the complexities and challenges inherent in maintaining a vast empire. Internal factors such as political instability, economic crises, and the erosion of military discipline, compounded by external pressures from barbarian invasions and the rise of new powers, gradually undermined the Roman military. The eventual fall of the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century CE marked a significant turning point in European history, signaling the end of the ancient world and the beginning of the Middle Ages. Despite its fall, the Roman military left a lasting legacy on European military strategies and structures. The concepts of professional standing armies, military engineering, and the integration of military and civil administration were Roman innovations that influenced European warfare for centuries. The Roman legion's organizational structure, tactics, and training regimen were studied and emulated by subsequent European powers shaping the evolution of modern military forces. Reflecting on the rise and fall of Rome's military power offers valuable lessons for contemporary military and political leaders. The importance of maintaining a balance between military expansion and the economic and administrative capacity to support such endeavors is a timeless principle. The Roman experience underscores the significance of internal cohesion, discipline, and the integration of military and civilian efforts in sustaining a powerful and effective military force. Moreover, Rome's history highlights the dangers of over-reliance on mercenaries and the critical need for a military that is loyal, disciplined, and imbued with a sense of duty to the state. In conclusion, the Roman military's history is a testament to the heights that can be achieved through innovation, discipline, and strategic foresight, as well as the pitfalls of complacency, internal decay, and external pressures. 
the enduring impact of Rome's military innovations and the lessons drawn from its rise and fall continue to inform military and strategic thought, demonstrating the timeless relevance of Rome's military legacy.